Matching the hatch is a phrase often used by fly fishermen, whereby they attempt to imitate the natural insects present. Nonetheless, bass fishermen use this term as well when trying to closely match the size, profile, and action of the available bait fish. Hi everyone, Kim Stricker here, and welcome back to Hook and Look. When it comes to drop shot baits that imitate minnows, shiners, young of the year perch, and blueback herring, you'd be hard pressed to find anything better than Strike King's Baby Z2. Anytime you can more closely represent what the fish are feeding on, the better. The Baby Z2, along with the larger original version, offer a natural bait fish profile, which includes a fork tail design and is super soft yet unbelievably durable. That's because it's made of Elastec, which is a proprietary material that delivers more quivering action than conventional soft plastic. Man, there's just, just gobs of bait here. Mega schools of bait. Ought to be a few big smallies around them. There we go. Yeah, ooh, that might be better not. That might be better than I think. They don't quit. They don't quit. Oh yeah. Right over here, Mr. Smallmouth. Oh, ho, 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 ho. playing tricky like that on me. Nice. There we are. Yep. Ooh, right inside there. Get him out of the old Z2. But yeah, look at this. Yeah. Nice. The, uh, there's an area of weeds right here, and you can see that the bait is just all over them. And there's some feeding activity going on top, but there's small fish. They're rock bass or something. But on the outside edge, I think we're going to catch more of these, and it's a nice, darn good fish. The system I'm presenting today begins with a pearl white Baby Z2 and a 3 8 ounce tour grade tungsten drop shot weight. The hook is a size 2 drop shot hook, and as you've seen, I'm relying on the smooth 6 disc carbon drag system of a Team Lou's Mock Crush speed spin reel and the sensitivity of a 7 foot medium action Team Lou's Pro spinning rod. You've probably noticed that I've got a cushion rod float attached to the rod butt. This little inexpensive item will save your entire ensemble if it gets accidentally kicked or dropped in the water. And speaking of water, the water is clear. So for its transparent properties, I've attached a liter of eight pound test Seaguar Tatsu fluorocarbon line to a main line of 20 pound Seaguar High Viz Flash Green Smackdown Braid. As always, you can find a complete list of the tackle and equipment featured in this video, including links itemized below the video description. They're jumping all over this Z2. <laughs> there is a gazillion rock bass here. We know that. In fact, before I get on the water, I'm going to want to scope it out a little bit with the AquaView. I think we'll do that right now. This is my AquaView HD7i Pro that I've got mounted, hard mounted in the boat. And it's high definition. The, the picture that you get on this is absolutely incredible. And what I want to do is check out this area. I plan on getting the water. I want to check it for the visibility. I also want to see, get a sneak preview of exactly what bait is there. So let's drop the camera down and I'm just going to kind of drift through the area. And you can see here on my hummingbird, the bait, and here you go, here they are. That doesn't tell you what they are. The aqua view tells you, I'm looking at a heck of a nice school of perch. <laughs> But look at the schools of them, just hundreds of them. And them smallmouth love those perch. 
but we'll also come across those big schools of shiners and uh, I know they're feeding on those for sure. Rock bass, that, we're getting those schools of rock bass one after another. And they're all here for a reason, and that's the bait. You know, the visibility looks pretty good for my diving. We're coming off a little deeper. Our experience fishing has been that the fish have been in that 11 to 14. Ooh, ooh there's one of the right ones. <laughs> Small mod just come by the edge of it. Yep, there was one of the right ones. Then there were two. Typically, these big smallies will travel in groups. And sure enough, followed close behind was another one, two, three, four. Well, that's all I wanted to see. Time to get in the water. Okay, let's see if we can see some fishies down here. I'd like to see some of that big old smallmouth. As expected, the schools of bait fish were hovering over the Vallison area in massive numbers. And sure enough, the big smallies were on the prowl nearby, ganged up like a wolf pack, stalking the outer edge. This area is the feeding station, no question about it. As I moved shallower where the grass grew thicker, I somewhat unexpectedly encountered a largemouth bass. He too was undoubtedly drawn to the bait fish buffet. In fact, several species of predatory fish, even this big bowfin, came to satisfy its appetite amidst the weed bed. As you know, part of what we do on our program is to show the action of Strike King lures from our underwater perspective. On this episode, the task was a little more difficult because of the amount of bait fish in the area. Let me share with you a little behind the scenes footage of the undertaking that kind of blew me away. Okay, switch it. Yeah, just like that. A little more. You got rock bass looking at it like crazy. You know, I'm sitting there watching all the rock bass and stuff come at it. I'm waiting for a small mouth to do it. Oh, rock bass, rock bass got it. Out of the gate, the rock bass were annoying, but it only got worse. Okay, switch that thing. The shiners go for it too. The shiners are biting it too, I didn't know that. The shiners I'm referring to, I believe are actually alewives. But regardless, I had no idea of the activity transpiring at the end of my line. I can't believe how much the shiners are going at it. Wait till you see this footage. This is hard to do because there's so many fish biting it. I tell you, I'm not only amazed at the fish attracting action of the Baby Z2, but also of the durability of the Elastec plastic. It's extremely hard to destroy, and if one came off the hook, it quickly floated to the surface and I retrieved and reused it. In addition, it's that floating attribute of Elastec that keeps the Z2 level, but also keep in mind that unlike conventional soft plastics, when drop shotted, Elastec baits won't sink to the bottom on slack line. There's a fish. I, I got a fish. Ooh, this one looks a little better. Oh, that's a big smallmouth. That's what we're looking for. Come up here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. That's what we're looking for right there. That's what we're looking for. Yes, sir. Big old smally. Yes, sir. I love, love it, love it. Look at that, right in the nose, right where you want to get them. And that bone, I can get it out. Mm, yeah, that is a sharp, hook.